All right, guys, so let's create a comment form. On our single page, below the content, we'll set div class name equals row, and then div class name going to be call medium 12 and we're going to have h3 comments and then if this dot props dot auth dot token else We'll have a link to sign up. Uh, all right, so in here we're going to put a comment builder component. Save this and then up at the top we need to import those two things. So import link from react router dom and then import comment builder from common comment builder and save. And then in common, let's go ahead and create a new file called comment builder js. And we're going to import react component from react. Import all as site actions from Would this be in common, so up one level, up another level, so two levels. Uh, store actions, site actions, and then import connect from React Redux. Now let's write class comment builder extends component with the render method for right now just an h1 that says comment and then map or const map state to props and it gets the state and returns an object which auth is going to be state dot auth because uh, we really just need the token to actually post the comment and then const map dispatch to props it's going to get dispatch and it's also going to return an object which is going to be uh, we're going to have a property called post comment which is going to be a function that takes in comment and token and then we just dispatch site actions post comment with the comment and token being passed in now let's export default connect with map state to props and map dispatch to props. And we will wrap the comment builder in that. Now let's save. 
We'll also need a form, so the easiest way to do that is we're just going to copy a bit of code from our login page again. And it's just going to be uh, the with formic bit right here. Let's go ahead and copy uh, all of this. And then in comment builder, after the connect, we're going to do that and then open up another parenthesis here and close another one here. And that, all right, so we don't have with formic. So import with formic from formic. Good stuff. Let's save. And we also need to import yup. And that was just import all as yup from yup. So I'm going to copy that over to here. So let's save. Now we also need the post ID. So for that, we are going to also get the site state. So state.site. Let's go ahead and save. And that's just telling us that post comment is not a function. So let's go ahead and copy this. And then in site actions, let's go ahead, export const post comment. We're going to get the comment and the token. And we're going to return dispatch. An API post comment. I'm going to pass the comment, the token, and the res is going to be returned. And if res.status equals 200, we know it's posted. So we're going to dispatch type added comment payload res.data. Let's go ahead and save. Now in API, we actually don't have a post comment function. So uh, we need to do a few things. First, within our backend, we need to actually add a collection here. So we don't have one. So let's go ahead and control C. And let's run LB model comment. And it's taken a while. There we go. We're going to use uh, DB and persisted model. We're going to expose it via the REST API. Sure, common. Property name is going to be content. It's going to be string. And created at. It's going to be a date. And I think that's all we need. All right. So let's go ahead and run npm start again. Actually, what we need to do is uh, relations post uh, type is going to be belongs to and model is going to be post and foreign key should get defaulted but we're going to set it anyway at post ID. Let's go ahead and save and then in post.json under relations comments type is going to be has many Model is going to be comment and foreign key 
we are going to specify but just leave it blank and then save. Now we actually need to npm start that again. Now I am going to close, well, hold on. I'm actually going to open API And down near the bottom, we're going to add a function called post comment, which takes comment token and a success callback function. And we're going to Axios post to our host slash API slash comments access token is going to be equal to our token as always. We're going to pass the comment through, which I actually passed that in plural. It should just be comment. Uh, then we're going to call success.res. Let's go ahead and save. Now, a few things, when we get the post by slug, we also need to include uh, comments. So here where it says where, we're going to put a comma, and under that line, we're going to put include comments. Let's go ahead and save. And actually, the comments are going to need the profiles. So, great, great stuff. Basically, what we need to do is I'm going to open up Robo Mongo, or Robo 3T, and we're going to connect to our local host. And I really can't zoom this in which sucks, but I just need to check one thing, which is basically uh, our profile is getting auto-created. And it looks like they are. All right, good stuff. So what we need to do is connect the profile to the user Or rather, when the profile, when the user gets created, the name is passed through to the profile as well. Uh, and then we need to connect. So we need to do a bit of backend work basically here. So in website backend, we're going to go into the server function. And we're going to look for uh, after remote create, uh, profile create. We're going to set name equal to user dot name and we're going to save. And when somebody's created, we're also going to default a role. So we'll just set role to uh, subscriber. We'll worry about actual role mapping a little bit later for right now. This is fine. And what we will do. All right, so we're good there. In our models, comment.json, let's say profile, type is going to be belongs to, model is going to be profile, and then foreign key is going to be profile ID. And then in profile.json, the same thing basically. Uh, comment is going to be type has many. Model, let's try that again. Model is going to be comment. And foreign key, we're just going to leave that as a blank string. Now, that's good for here, so we can actually stop and restart the server. 
in RoboMongo, I'm actually going to delete uh, the user and delete the profile because the name didn't get set. And then console log, I will, uh, or in the console, I'll s clear the storage and then refresh. And it says cannot read properly length of undefined. So in single, uh, and we did do this stuff kind of not safe uh, in that we're not really checking for values. So right here, uh, we'll say this dot props dot post or site dot post dot post image. So if there's a post image, then we'll check, you know, if it's an array, if there's a length of it, otherwise just, you know, show blank. And then this says need an account, sign up. So let's go here. N at n.com. My name is Nick. Uh, password one. Password one. And let's sign up. And let's update password. Then let's go to blog. And actually, when we log in, right, that's the, that's the thing I forgot. We actually need to get their profile and set that as well. So let me, in auth actions here, after the login, uh, the user ID here, we're, we're going to basically need to get the user object and the profile and then set those both uh, as well. So uh, API dot get user and we'll pass res dot data dot user ID and we'll get res two and we will basically uh, dispatch type after login and payload is going to be res2.data. So let's go ahead and save this. And then after login uh, in auth reducer, we need a few things here. Uh, profile needs to be null as well. And then case after login, we will return dot 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 state user is going to be action dot payload and profile is going to be action dot payload dot profile. Actually, it's capital profile. So let's save. And basically in our API, Uh, right after the login function here, we're going to have uh, a get user by user ID and a success function. We also need the token actually. So let's go into auth actions and use res data ID, which is the token that was just created with the login. And Success. There we go. We open up the function. So here what we're going to do is axios.get host slash API slash users slash user ID with access token token and we're going to set params filter include profile. Then we're going to take the response and call success with the result. So let's save this. And we don't currently have a logout function, so we're just clearing the local storage and refresh. And I'm going to go to a post and then click sign up. And we, we still don't have a link to the login. So I'm just going to go to login here. 
and that didn't work. Let me go to login again and refresh and our login page isn't oh right because we don't have a login page it's admin all right now I'm gonna log in and okay so we are getting the unauthorized with the users uh, itself 